is a very peculiar story. When I started here, I spent a lot of time walking the job because I really had to get to know the, yes. you know, the school. And uh, the, I was up on that fourth me mezzanine uh, one day, and I was always just slightly spooked when I went into it because there was a, a dummy, a tailor's dummy, mm -hmm. stood there. Um, the children called him Henry, and Henry. Um, had a top hat and that was the extent of his apparel um, and uh, so I always got a slight um, start, a slight startled that there was a figure suddenly there. The level, it's got like a, like a balcony type thing that you can see down from one of the classrooms where one of the classrooms used to be and they used to have a mannequin and the mannequin used to like sit and you always looked up and you seen the mannequin and everyone thought like the mannequin was possessed and it was a spooky corridor. So we just referred to it as a spooky corridor. One day I was walking um, past Henry and I noticed his top hat was in his hand. And uh, when I got along to the end of the, the mezzanine, I turned and it was on his head. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had a feeling that somebody was there and somebody was playing a trick. But um, but several times um, that type of thing happened with this um, tailor's dummy. From time to time, whenever you went up past the, the corridor, he would be in a different position. He would be hatless. He might be headless. Um, the head might be in his in his hands. The head might be on the floor. His head could be turned backwards. It was just the strangest thing because no pupils were allowed on that corridor. So who was doing this to Henry? If, do we have a ghost? I'd have to say that I, I was never actually scared. I, I, and that mezzanine was a place that always had good vibrations somehow to, for me. And even today, I went up to, along the fourth floor and I thought, I can still feel it. Now, I'm sure it's just in closed space or it's mm -hmm. a dust or it's a something that just feels so peaceful. And, and I'd have to say uh, that any time I was thoroughly stressed, that's where I would go in the school and just walk along there and uh, seem to put the world to rights. Yeah. So, so uh, it may, it, I mean, I don't know if there is a presence. <laughs> I certainly thought that it was just um, some child who had happened to be there and uh, that was you know, having a laugh, playing a trick with, with the top hat. <laughs> Always be at the right place at the right time. <laughs> Finally, I did say to the janitor, you know, take that dummy um, and put him somewhere. So at that time, there was a flat, a, a, an entire flat that some said had been a janitor's flat, but uh, the log books said that it had been um, a place for um, teaching housewifery because when the school was built, it was a, a primary and secondary, and of course, uh, girls would be taught house, housewifery skills, you know. Um, that was how it was. So anyway, I um, said to the janitor, can you take that, uh, take Henry away? And uh, indeed, he went into the flat, and I would go into the flat for some reason, and he would be lounging in the bath, or he would be, you know, sitting up in a chair, and so it was still going on. And uh, I said <laughs> to the janitor, I want you to take Henry away, and I don't care where he goes, but I don't want to see him. <laughs> and the next time I saw him, he was standing on a doorstep along in Barn Hill, dressed as Santa Claus. And I knew where he had gone and I knew who had taken him there. <laughs> and it wasn't the janitor. <laughs>